Hold on. Real talk. Let's talk money. It's very interesting. At the weekend, uh, the Trump organization and how they get together where they raise, so they say, uh, almost 50 million. People had to pay $250,000 for the privilege of being in the same room as a diaper dog. Weirdly, this JD Vance, maybe he wasn't invited because he now thinks that we've got it all wrong. You're all wealthy people. I know a lot of you have come there. Well, for the simple reason, Laura, that their policies have benefited, uh, the Biden administration policies have benefited billionaires, whereas Trump's policies benefited working people. So much money, they can give you so much money. Ones, you know, we did the largest tax cuts in history. Think of it, our military. Anyone fancy a quick bit of Jamie Raskin laughing right in Coma's face? We deserve, I agree, we deserve transparency. Hopefully in our investigations, the administration will turn over uh, the uh, email, the pseudonym emails and uh, the, the tape, the her tapes and all the other uh, items of relevance to our uh, other investigation that we have ongoing. With respect to... Uh, but is that one still ongoing? I wasn't sure. Yes, it's oh, it is. Yeah, okay. I know. You, well, see, you, 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 need, you need to stop watching CNN. You need to go to Main Street and ask people, people. I was just going to have a spoon of yogurt, but I got waylaid. Did you know? Did you know? Speaker Johnson claims that one of his besties, somebody he's always on the dog and bone, phone to, is the, uh, the Prime Minister of Japan. Who knew? What are you going to talk to uh, the president about? Can you help? think you can help us get something on Ukraine or, or uh, also on the FISA bill? We, we have a, a lot of things to discuss, yeah, talk to him frequently. So looking forward to... Um, Seen him in person. Right now. Seriously, if they do do these presidential discussions, can they get Trump to do a cognitive test live? Uh, how should we start? Just get him to dispel felon. They put him into the state of New York and then ultimately into the DA's office to run the case. This is being run by Biden. Uh, they put a man in to the state, Letitia Jones. Peekaboo, I call her. Peekaboo, Jim. Peekaboo. They put a man into that one to uh, Leticia. They put a man into that one to run it, and then he. I can't say this straight. Uh, what's the advertise on OAN? <laughs> That's my call to action to you personally, Marjorie. Can we count on you? Oh, yes, of course, Dan. You can always count on me. Uh, unfortunately, I don't chair a committee, but you have my full support. And if one of our committees will actually take that up, and I think we should, it should be one of the most important things we do, protecting the free speech of Americans like yourself and protecting free press, which is your from you. Um, yes, of course, you have my support. You always. Uh, the Trumps are having a bit of a day. Uh, there is Eric being ignored by everybody. So he's now resorted to showing off his, uh, well, it's a collection of medals. No idea what he won them for. Being the best uh, Gary Boosie uh, junior lookalike, maybe. And then former guy is, he's learnt a new word. <laughs> Liberal millionaires. <laughs> Pledging to make a monthly donation starting right here, right now is the number one best way to help us win back the White House. Joe Biden has liberal billionaires bankrolling his crooked campaign. If we're going to defeat his dirty dollars, we'll be really doing it and doing it big. We have to do it because we have to save our country. Monthly support from patriots like you is probably the best way. Even if it's just $5, anything helps. Thank you very much. God bless you. Poor old Fox News. They've tried and they just can't find a picture of uh, the late O.J. Simpson. But we found one that they, they might be interested in. A little bit prior to that. But this guy was living a charm life. Came from nowhere. Used his athletic ability and his drive to soar to great heights. And I remember he was the first one to really break through. Although Jim Brown with the Dirty Dozen... Uh, there was a clip we play sometimes of Chip Roy going, Give me one! Just one! Uh, 
Um, he's upset that the GOP are not really doing anything to encourage people to support them. Uh, they're doing a lot of infighting, though. Escalates her attacks. The motion to vacate is real. Uh, we can't continue to be led by a, our elected Speaker of the House that's passing the Democrat agenda. Uh, our voters will not tolerate that. All of it enraging fellow Republicans. This is incredibly reckless. This is nothing more than just look at me. No one else is paying attention. So here's my motion to vacate. Now it's my time. I think it's an absurdity that's unnecessary. And frankly, it was a mistake when this Congress allowed it to happen to, to Kevin McCarthy. It's an impossible job. The Lord Jesus himself could not manage this conference or this kind. You just can't do it. Johnson will soon see his razor thin majority shrink, giving him just one vote to spare. But my the right wing continues to give Johnson give fits, furious over his deal making with Democrats and warning him about his moves ahead. Green outlined her anger in a scathing five-page letter attacking Johnson over his handling of a funding package to keep the government open and in a 70-minute meeting with Johnson today warning him not to move ahead with any more aid to Ukraine or a bill to renew the FBI's warrantless surveillance authority something former President Donald Trump successfully urged Republicans to kill earlier today. Most of the members I've talked to support the letter that I sent and they completely agree with it. Um, and that's the only feedback that I've heard. But Johnson offering this warning if Green moves ahead. It would be chaos in the House. Yet several hardliners are open to Green's call for his ouster. I think she has some valid concerns. I'm not closing the door. Are you ready to vote to vacate the Speaker? No, we're not going to go down that path right now. I think that the Republican conference as a whole needs to really figure out what we are about. If he, he does move forward with any Ukraine package, could that cost him his job? Yeah, I think it'll be a real risk for the Speaker to move uh, a giant package. Here's something I never thought I would see. Somebody on Fox who knows about the economy uh, telling a, a Trump spokesperson, no, things weren't that brilliant four years ago. This really did happen. The guy got told, Neil Gavota told the guy to his face. Or remembering where they were, and I think this is going to help Donald Trump. And I actually think that he's playing on the fact that they were better off under his administration than they are right now, even though Biden is saying it's better. All right, well, we can go back and forth on whether people are better off. We were knee deep in the middle of COVID down. I'm not blaming that on the former president, but of course, the economy had ground to a halt. So, you, you know, you have to pick and choose your dates and times. But Being a researcher at Fox must involve quite a few things. Who knew that hanging out at libraries and discovering that I have... It's all going on at libraries, by the way. This, this is a graphic. <laughs> Somebody typed in the comma as well. Earlier comments. New York Times headline, Democrats hammer a simple attack on abortion. Donald Trump did this. And he did. And the consequences are absolutely terrible uh, for women and also for Republican candidates. Yeah, while Willie was bringing in this story, I wrote four words on my paper. Donald Trump did this. <laughs> that is what the... That's the message. That's the message, and that's yeah. what the Biden campaign has said, and it's as simple and powerful. I think we're going to hear Donald Trump did this about a lot of issues as the year goes on, including those connected to assaults on the democracy on January 6th, but most well, powerfully... Well, and also, also, uh, Donald Trump, and we're going to be talking about this too, he's desperately trying to run away from... All the times he said he wanted to do away with Obamacare. Yes. Now he's saying, oh, no, no. Obamacare, I, I forget what I said about John McCain going like this. I, maybe, maybe I like Obamacare. Yeah, so he's flip flopping. Flip, he just looks so weak yeah, and, he, and desperate right a, now. A Truth Social video yesterday, he tried to say, no, I, I'm, I'm for Obamacare. I just want to change it. <laughs> and yeah. we can fact check like about a thousand times he said he exactly. wanted to over, overturn it. Donald Trump did this. Oh, God! 